welcome back to the channel and mm, here we finally got some proper winter roads in the mountains of British Columbia. These are the uh, stay at home and go back to bed kind of roads. So I'm very thankful that I have the Jeep, that's for darn sure. We are cruising along here in 4x4. We are making our way towards the ferry because it is time to go back to see the Pirate Princess and do a little bit of shopping for the rebuild on Lucky. A few things that we need. These are as icy as I've ever seen these roads in my entire life. But to their credit, whoever's doing it, they've plowed it, they've sanded it. Grace is still a little squirrely when she's in rear wheel drive though, so. Four by four it is. Rip through the mountains at a reasonable pace. I left um, with an extra half hour leeway to get to the 8.30 ferry. Usually only takes just under an hour to get from New Denver to the ferry. Uh, but with these roads and me driving a little bit more conservatively, darling, uh, that extra half hour will help, so. Blasting back there and this is kind of it for the house sitting gig. Mom and dad should be back while I'm in Calgary this time. I'm still headed back on my regular schedule because my home is in shambles and it's being bookended kind of nicely. I had this whole plan at the outset that it was gonna be these days when I was in Calgary and I'd be staying at Airbnbs and doing this, that, and the other thing. And of course, I kind of got thrown up in the air because of scheduling and whatnot, as it do, and that is fine. But this return trip is exactly the same as the very first return trip I made. So I'm staying at the same Airbnb I stayed at, which is good, because something precious was left behind. So hopefully we can re-procure that later today. And yeah, just gonna enjoy the week. I got my caffeine, I better get this in my bodice and uh, get our butts to a boat as I do. Safely. Safety first. for your feet come dance with me and I will tell you when you're older how I loved you just the same it only matters where we're going it never mattered from where you came you down, steals your crown, and breaks your will. Oh, Lord, I'll pick you up, brush off the dust, and hold you still. I will tell you when you're older, how I loved you just the same. It only matters where we're going It never mattered from where you came And go to sleep, my darling Oh, the night is getting darker You can dream of It only matters where we're going It never mattered from where you came And I will tell you where I'm your older How I love you just the same It only matters where we're going It never mattered from where Never mattered from where you came. It never. 
Oh, we made it to Calgary. Yikes. And when we left New Denver in British Columbia in the mountains this morning, it was minus five degrees Celsius outside. Now, in Calgary, Alberta, Grace is saying it's minus 20 degrees Celsius. Yikes. Oh. Okay. That's better. I guess we should go get some mail and maybe clean Grace's glass. Whoa. She picked up quite the uh, fossilized look while we were on the Rogers Pass today. And I would love to take her to the car wash and clean it off. But minus 20, I don't feel like having my doors freeze shut completely. What's going on, Alberta? Get your poop in a group. I'm just back here reorganizing uh, the stuff in Grace because I know that, uh, <laughs> don't get me started with Amazon, but one of the two very long drawer slides uh, is in the mailbox. So I was back here making room, putting this part of the seat down because I've got Brooklyn's car seat back there. You have to move the vitamin maybe beside her. And I'm looking at my air mattress and my heated blanket. And I'm now kicking myself because I, I tried to remember to bring my weighted blanket and my pillows so that I could leave on Thursday and then sleep somewhere. It is supposed to warm up by then, but did I bring either of those things? The answer is no. So looks like we're gonna be staying in a hotel. Oh, okay, mailbox. Okay. Oh. That up there. Yeah, we should have room. Well, the other one arrived, and who knew? Turns out heavy duty 56 inch drawer slides oh, are heavy as shit. Thought I could be carried both at the same time, but nay. Yo, what the? F Why would they put them in two different styles of boxes? That one's like double the size. It'd be funny if I ended up with three pairs. I don't need that. Okay, and of course, I know one of these is mine. One of these is a circuit breaker that I ordered. The rest, I'm not so sure about. Oh, uh, oh yeah, one more thing. Ugh. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Last time I was here, my order from Revita. Restocked. Sad day. No mango. And this is the this is the problem with Grace getting so dirty and me, I guess, being lazy and dragging my legs. And the black pants. I just I don't even know what part on her I touched. Although, take your pick. Every part is filthy right now. I just mm, I need a baby wipe for my clothes. There, let's see if this works. Because the Airbnb I'm at doesn't have um, access to laundry. Now I could go to the bloody laundromat, I suppose, but for one pair of pants, that worked not too bad. There you go. Foresty Forest wipes his chicken. Van Life Plus wipes his lap. This is gonna look so silly. <laughs> Clean window, dirty body. This barely is nothing. <laughs> Yeah, or else better not forget these. Yuck. Grace needs to see an optometrist. Yeah, this is real ideal. <laughs> it's almost like the uh, squeegee's not contoured to round headlights. Shock it. Yo, that's ice built up on there. That's crazy. Oh, I just noticed she's, uh, she's clearly having an identity crisis. 
can't even see her name, man. That's, uh, yep, that's not coming off. Great, oh, there, kind of. You can kind of see it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Grace, you need a bath. Well, I was thinking, what do you what do you say? Should we go get a smoothie before we go to Lindsay's? Should we do that? You don't sound like you really want to. Do you? Let me hear it. Yeah. Even louder. Yeah. Woo! What kind of smoothie are you gonna get? Strawberry banana. Strawberry banana. That is a perfect flavor. <sighs> okay, just got all of my stuff into the Airbnb. You had to lug in the vitamin because it's going to be so cold tonight. And I was wondering, and then as soon as I turn on the light, I'm presented with, ah, look at that. No man left behind. Peppa was forgotten here on our last excursion. You, my friend, will have to wait. You'll be called into service tomorrow with Brooklyn. And what's even cooler is a new couch compared to the last time we were here. And it pulls out into a bed. So when I do have Brooklyn, it's gonna be a much more comfortable sleep with this guy. But for now, I'm gonna to go to bed in the actual bedroom because I'm exhausted and I have a physical therapy appointment tomorrow morning at 7.40. All right, let's get it. Okay, I just got out of there. I had my Revita tea that I opened on the way here, but obviously I didn't finish it. It's turning to slush. That's how cold it is. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, well, I said we go back to the Airbnb, open up some packages, and get it ready for the Pirate Princess. We've got a few things here. This very fluffy white pillow over there. Thank you. I know one of these is going to be a circuit breaker, a 40 amp one that I ordered for myself. I saw somebody's comment on a video, well, yesterday, at, when you're watching this, it will have been a while back, asking if I was overpowering my um, circuit breakers. No, I've definitely done the research for everything. And uh, I think there's a 40 amp for my main fuse box, uh, 200 amp for my inverter, and I don't remember what the other one is. That's for the uh, DC to DC charger, but Believe me, a lot of painstaking research went into what I did. So, anyways, that's in here somewhere because I wanted to replace the stupid little, like, screw down, tighten wire circuit breakers that I have with, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I've got a card here from Therese in Vegreville, Alberta. She's not too far away from me right now. When I'm opening this, it is very cold, so I'm assuming you are as well, my dear. I hope you were able to stay warm. Ooh! Teresa says, Dear Matthew, I really enjoy watching your channel. You are an excellent creator. Thank you very much. I wanted to send you this little gift. I have this patch on my EDC and noticed right away when you started saying this is this on your channel. Hope it brings you some joy. Also, I love your Jeep. I have a 2018 Wrangler Rubicon show off. <laughs> I camp in it all the time. I also camp in my bus. You can see them on my Instagram at Modin5. Is that M-O-D-I-N-5? or my little YouTube channel, Oh, Alberta Schooly Adventures. Hello, if you want to take a look. Wishing you more epic adventures in the future. Thanks for sharing all that you do. Maybe I'll run into you one day on my trips through Calgary. P.S. Hello to Penny. Take care, Teresa. Thank you very much. And she sent me this. Oh, I didn't even see what it was. It's a, it's a, it's a patch, right? Is it a patch? Yes, it's a patch. Oh, that's amazing. Well, for now, this can probably go on the uh, the Wolfpack bag. Yeah, we'll slap that on there. Thank you very much, Teresa. That's awesome. And thank you very much for the card and the kind words. I appreciate it. I don't know what this is. Oh, 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 who said this? There's no tag here. I don't want to assume. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. But uh, it's a sewer hose hatch. This was on my wish list. Thank you very much, whoever sent this. We will get to that in a while. Not much I can do with it right now. I don't have Lucky, but stay tuned. Thank you very much. That's super cool. I actually saw this um, 
I'll tell, you know what, we'll talk about it when I get to that video. But it was Blair, one of my Patreon supporters, who pointed out a YouTube video of a gentleman installing this. Oh good, it came with hair. I appreciate that. It's always good when your Amazon purchases come with hair. It's like a bonus. Thank you to Blair for recommending that video to me, and hopefully I'm able to recreate that install on Lucky. Okay, ooh, this might be... <clears throat> Get it out of the way. Oh, no. Yes, it is. 40 amp circuit breaker. It's in it. That's a very tiny box. Speaking of EDC, aha. Uh -uh. So, whoop, it comes with lug nuts. Hot lug nuts, Matthew. Stop calling them lug nuts. But this guy, right? Just like the other ones on Lucky. Nap this for myself, so that will be the new 40 amp circuit breaker. Boom. So keep those lugs together. Put it in a box. And put it with our sewer hose <coughs> housing. Perfect. All right, clean as you go. Okay, we've got another Amazon package here. Oh, yo, what the? Is it a parachute? What is this? Left side for Jeep. Oh, this was on my wish list as well. Was there a... Oh, they fell out. This is from, oh, from Victoria. Enjoy your gift. Thank you, Victoria. Well, I will show you guys exactly. It's a, um, it's kind of like, it's a cup holder for the Jeep. Check that out though. That's a pretty cool packaging that it comes in. Specifically for the Jeep Wrangler. Awesome, thank you so much. We will, we'll slot that into Grace. Well, when we go back out to Grace, which won't be too long. I just want to finish this up and then get the place set up for Brooklyn. What's in here? Ooh, that's heavy. Oh, this is from, this is from Wolves Inside UK. You wrote me on, where, where's the thing? You wrote me on Patreon. Yeah, Maxine and Christine. This is a small rig arm. It's, it's hard to explain, but it's like, it's, in, well, it's not that hard to explain. It's a, it's a mounting arm so I can have the camera on the outside of Grace and Lucky. And you might be thinking, well, you already do that. And I do, but Grace doesn't have a lot of metal on her. So I have to rely on my suction cups and my suction cups don't have an articulating arm that's very supportive like this. And Small Rig has been a company that I found um, to be very useful and quite durable, high quality sort of, sort of things. So thank you very much, you guys. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you helping me build out my Photographic arsenal. All right, now we got a couple of personal packages here. So this is from Maxine Shriver, Sh Shrivener. I, I butchered that. Eesh. Oh, there's a card. Yeah. I assume it's to me. It says nothing. <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. A special message just for you to say thanks so much. Oh, oh, this is I, that's that's why I was hesitating there because I'm like this is from them as well, from Wolves Inside the UK. Because I'm like Maxine, it only said Maxine on the outside. It says Maxine and Christine on the inside. Just wanted to send you our heartfelt thanks for all the fun and games and the tears and of and the tears of laughter through each week. We look forward to seeing your continued build and lucky. Recently, we have followed you on YouTube since your meet and greet with Chrome. We love the fact your content is kept real. You are a lovely soul and a fantastic father to sweet Brooklyn. We hope you enjoy the gifts we sent over, a little something for Lucky's rebuild and a few items for Brooklyn. There is also a gift on its way from your wish list on Amazon, which was the small rig arm. Thank you, you guys. Ooh! <laughs> Time flies when you're having rum. Well, we will obviously have to find a spot for that in Lucky. You know what, if I stick with the whole white concept for the most of the new, new uh, like fixtures in Lucky, that is gonna stand out great. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like that song, there's a song called Time Flies When You're Having Rum. Oh, look at that, a unicorn coloring book. I'm assuming this is what you made this for Brooklyn. I might color in it too. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Oh, another one. Oh, a sticker. Oh, this is a, this is a sticker book. Oh my gosh, look at all those stickers in there. Well, she's gonna love that. Perfect timing, too, with me having her tonight. Oh, there's a whole... Well, this is actually good. Coloring pencils. Let's get a sharpener. Oh, hair clips are flying everywhere. Thank you very much. We've got hair clips for B and a whole bunch of coloring pencils. Well, that's perfect. I was thinking, like, I always like to get her something small. And I know it kind of might sound like, oh, I'm spoiling her if you do that every single time. But these, like days when we're like at a different place, like at an Airbnb that's not you know, normal or whatever. Sometimes I like to give her something just a little new, 
Um, nothing major, but just something like that. And now I don't have to because you did that for me. So I greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. This comes from Barbie and Cam in Brentwood, California. It's very soft. Okay, let me, I don't want to see what it is. It's bloody declaration, so I'll get to, but I don't want to, hmm. What if I do it like this? In there, and then up, up and out. Cut away from yourself. Yikes. Come on, you. Okay, there's a card. Hi, Matthew. We are Cam and Barbie, and we have been following your channel for a while now. We love to travel in our van named Journey. That's a good thing. We hope to make it to Canada one day soon. We are inspired by the beauty in your videos. We saw this and thought of you. Sending our very best to you, Penny, and the Pirate Princess. Oh, and they put clovers all over the card. That's very cool. Thank you. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's a nice material too. Look at that. Good luck and good fortune. And it says lucky on it. Well, I know what I'm wearing tomorrow. Thanks guys. That's super cool. Oh, I appreciate that. That's all, that's all very kind of you. Thank you so much, everybody. <sighs> okay, oh hey, there was even bracelets for her that fell out of there. Wow, it's just, it's the bath package that keeps on giving. All right, well, I'm gonna get this tidied up and then we gotta get her little I was gonna say station set up, but things for her all around the house, just so when she comes in here, he sort of feels like a home. forgot there was one more package from Amazon it was on the pool table I think I know which this is because I believe it's what Andrew wrote me on patreon about so I mentioned in the vlog before how I wish they would make something like this not even knowing it, it obviously already existed so yeah from Andrew thank you very much sir saw your recent video decided to have a look to see if a wireless tens machine existed found one this one had good reviews and you can judge it hope it works from Andrew so look at that Wow Electrotherapy pain relief, wireless three in one. That's super cool. Look at that controller that comes with it. Yeah, if we could eliminate these wires, that'd be great. So I'm gonna crack this bad boy open. We get it charged up, because I'm assuming it's probably gonna need a charge. And then we shall see. Thank you again, Andrew. That's very, very kind of you. Ooh, oh, oh, it's not rechargeable batteries. It's little tiny, oh, hello. Wait a second. Okay, I wanna figure this out. But either way, thank you, Andrew. Let's see how this cup holder works. Bubble wrap. So the nice thing about this, like most of these little Jeep accessories on the interior, don't require any sort of like drilling or anything. They do require you to figure out how to get in the bubble wrap. 
Ooh, so fancy. It does have some 3M tape on it if needed, but as far as I know, this is where it goes. Right up here, right on the window. Just kind of snaps right in there. Boom. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to want to use that adhesive for sure so that it stays there, but that's not as intrusive as I thought. Obviously, you're going to have to be careful. You're not going to want to heat up any sort of cold drinks, but a coffee or something there, that's great. Like these two little cup holders down here, they're fine. And there's two more in the back, of course, but these ones are kind of, I don't know, they're okay. Well, for me, you can see they're always full of crap. So it's nice to have this there. Let's, uh, let's see how it works. <clears> oh, <throat> perfect. So, and then of course it doesn't interfere with the window, I'm assuming. Not at all. Roll down, roll up. Very nice. We got ourselves a new cup holder. Thank you very much. That's super cool. Good morning, everybody. Just dropped the Pirate Princess off at school slash daycare, depending on the mood you're in. And now I am on my way, well, I'm here, to Mr. Lube. Didn't realize there was one way out here in the south end of the city. Oh, perfect red light. And it is time to get Grace's fluids changed. Down to 18% still is, I could probably go back and forth to BC one more time, maybe even twice more. But those are numbers that I like, so we're gonna get her done. Plus, we just crossed 19,000 kilometers, so. Less sludgy oil, the better. Not that she's that sludgy, because she's still a newer vehicle, but still, best practices. Change your oil! the entrance or is it the other side that's the exit so there's a giant ass truck in the way they must be sucking out the oil <laughs> can i creep through here what's this oh no that's popeye's drive through don't go in there not unless you want some fried chicken and i don't because it's still bloody early in the morning just drive over the curb i'm in a jeep oh there goes one truck and this Penske delivery truck needs to go away. Oi. Well, they're picking up tires. That's where I need to be. This guy's in the way. That's the only way in. This was a piss poor design decision. <laughs> but I'm also to blame because there's plenty of other locations in the city I could have gone to. This is what I get for venturing out of my comfort zone. Ugh. Hey, banner day. Yeah, maybe we can actually get inside. Are you kidding? He's just gonna sit there? Some of us would like to use the services of the Mr. Loop! some people's kids. <laughs> morning. Good morning, how are you? Not too bad, you? Before I get started, can I offer you any coffee or water? Oh, I appreciate that, but I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Have a great day. Thank you, you as well. Appreciate that, thank you. Hiya. Welcome back, Grace. Oh, man. Well, she was nice. And everybody calmed down. It wasn't the end of the world. Just had to wait a little longer. But 
Another customer was able to sneak around the other side of the truck and get in before me. It kind of made me see red just a little bit. It's all right. Not the end of the world. Here we are. And I don't know. She was she was nice. She said it was like she hasn't been there very long. She's it's her second week. She and I know it's just her job, but she was really trying to sell me on a fuel system flush. I gonna have to check my book because I'm, I'm like I'll wait till next time. Wouldn't it cost too much? It sounds like it only been about fifty or sixty dollars, which eh, whatever. Um, she also told me that when she took the oil cap off, it was smoking, which indicates that my oil is burning. I don't know. Maybe I know that they push stuff there, and they're required to do that. Uh, we'll look into it. I do have to stop at Canadian Tire later. I need to get some sandpaper to finish up that nice little white panel that I have back at uh, Lucky. Also, the other things that I needed, the lugs and the clamps, I was able to just order on Amazon. Those should all be in my mailbox later today. So that makes that easier. Um, but I also need to pick up another bottle of washer fluid because I put the last one in. So I don't know, I will look into it. I know fuel systems need to be flushed. That is a part of regular maintenance. 19,000 kilometers though, I just don't know. Grace, you better not be burning oil. All right, moving right along. <laughs> There's one blue sky. Temperature is vastly different now. It's much warmer uh, now, a few hours later. I stopped back at the Airbnb, had a quick shower, and did my hair up because I've discovered that every time I go for a haircut, for whatever reason, I always tell the barber or whoever that I like to wear my hair messy. And everybody's interpretation of that is vastly different. I think the fault lies with me. And it's not that I like to wear my hair messy, I like to wear it. Mm. I like a Johnny Bravo. However, I like to wear it like a little bit more reserved Johnny Bravo, and this is just a little too tall. So I don't normally make it a habit to have my hair did when I go see the barber, but I figured if I give them an example of this is where it looks to look like, we might have more success. I just need like the tiniest bit off the top because this is insanity. Also, my phone's too low. You can't really see what I'm talking about. More to the point though, I'm just pulling into the um, mall parking lot here. That TENS machine that I got from Andrew, so far I'm really loving it. It comes with one pair of actual pads that go on your back. They are connected with, with a wire, so it's not completely wireless. <laughs> but they just stick on your back Well, you can actually replace the pads on them. They stick to your back. You can recharge those pads. They come with a little USB charge cable and everything. And it's just the remote that has AAA batteries and that's where you adjust all of your stuff and yeah i had them on in the last clip when i was at mr lube um they were great so far so if anybody's interested i don't have them with me right now i gave them a break plus i had a shower so i didn't want to have them on in the shower that sounds like it would be a bad idea but if i remember to i will throw a description of that brand in 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 uh, in the description that's too many D's. It's never too many D's. Everybody just calm down. But it'll be there below the video if you're curious. <sighs> there you go. It's a little shorter, but my goodness. Look at that peak. <clears throat> Gotta be careful. There. It's already better. Fresh and fit. Eagle-eyed viewers may have also noticed that I'm wearing the same shirt for the third day in a row. And you're not wrong. I sure am. Dirty, dirty boy. Although not really, because I finally rediscovered the value of proper antiperspirant. Aluminum free? Yeah. There's a reason we put aluminum in it for sweaty boys like myself. But I also decided to wear it for a third day in a row because no matter how hard they try, every time I go for a haircut, my neck's gonna be covered, and the shirt that I'm wearing is gonna be filled with little hairs. It's when they get that really fine tooth razor, they go, Mrrr! and then those hairs are like millimeter long, they just get all over you. So, it's going to be back to the Airbnb for another shower and a change of this outfit before continuing on with the day. I think that was all I had to say right now. There. This better. This is how you style it. And uh, yeah, changed. No more itchy, no scratchy. I'm loving this t-shirt. Go check that out. Heck uh, yes. And this is what mine and Brooklyn's morning consisted of. Painting into unicorn book. That was a lot of fun. So, speaking of the pirate princess, it's almost time to go get her, but I gotta rip over Canadian Tire first to get those last two things off of my to-do list. And actually, 
stuff still hasn't been delivered to the UPA store, so it might be a tomorrow thing to pick everything else up. All right, 600 grit sandpaper for finishing paint on wood, washer fluid, good to go. And then I'm considering taking Grace to the car wash because look at this. It's like I walked out and it's just dripping off of her. <laughs> but tomorrow's supposed to be even nicer. The roads are quite yucky today. So maybe we wait a day before we remove the Paleolithic era from Grace. What was I thinking? What'd you say? Hi, everybody. How was your day at school? <laughs> this is where you say, I had a good day or I had a bad day, Daddy. I had a bad day. You had a bad day? Why? Because. What happened? Why was it a bad day? You looked like you were having fun. Why was it a bad day? Are you fibbing? <laughs> yeah, did you actually have a good day? Yeah, that's what I thought. You go back to the Airbnb? Yeah. yeah, okay. And what do you say? Should we invite some people over for dinner? Yeah. Yup. I got my headphones. 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 Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Wicked worms. <went. laughs> you got your sunbeam? Well, well, we'll, yes. we'll yes. play it a bit, okay? We'll play it. Hello! Are you being wrangled by your niece? Molestar! <laughs> okay, fine. All right, all right, all right. Fine. All right. We're good, we're good. Well, somebody yeah, wants to play pool. Learn to rack them up. <laughs> rack them up, he says. Twice. What? Oh. It's going to be like full hog junkies. Hey, I'm, not, I'm not taking it easy, I guess. Eat your candies. Uh, my, my. <laughs> My yes, oh, Brooklyn oh, shows these snacks for everybody. Let's the, see them. The gateway. The gateway drug to smoking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the ones that were worse, do you remember those? Uh, they're actually wrapped in paper, but they were chocolate on the inside. And they actually looked like and they were in like fake cigarette packs. You ever seen those? Oh. What are you doing? Throw it on. Gotta throw it on. Oh. Well. Beautiful. You tried so hard. All the way, Brooklyn. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> A couple of pool sharks here. All right. Who's the hustler? Place your you. bets. I'm going to teach you double down. She's going to take the stick and rock. <laughs> but now everybody's here. What's <laughs> happening? Yeah, you sort of like I can unplug it. Oh, okay. Like a hat. Thank you. It's a good hat. Yes. Oh, hi, Matthew. <laughs> Well, hello, darling. How are you? Welcome back to YouTube. Say oh, hello. Pizza? Oh, hello. Pizza. Yeah. Pizza. <laughs> And good morning again. I am all checked out of the Airbnb. I am now houseless again. <laughs> I guess I should say shelterless again, but that's not even true because I could just, well, you know. But it is 
just after 10 o'clock in the morning. I got some editing to do. I've, de I've definitely fallen behind. I love, when it comes to my YouTube channel, I absolutely love being ahead, having videos posted for four or five days in advance, just so I don't feel rushed. And all of this back and forth between the two provinces, I've definitely let that slide. Oh, I don't know if I've let it slide, but it's just come in the way of, of that sort of productivity let's say. So I'm actually needing to edit a video that will go live today. So I used to come over here to Fish Creek Library a lot near the beginning of my van life. And that's where I was doing editing when I was still sort of figuring stuff out and what worked and what didn't. I didn't have a lot of power in Lucky at the time uh, to charge. Well, I mean, I had enough power to charge my laptop. Let's get serious. But it was more comfortable to sort of do something familiar, like go to the library and whatnot. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And then um, I booked myself a hotel this evening. And some of you might be immediately wondering, well, why didn't you just stay at the Airbnb one more night? If I'm being honest, it's because I would like to go swimming in the pool and where I'm going, they have a very nice breakfast that is included. So that will be nice to have before I get on the road back to British Columbia tomorrow morning. So I have one more evening with my little pirate princess tonight. But for now, to the library. This place has changed. There are no tables down here. <sighs> well, that was the quickest trip to the library ever. <laughs> Shucks, this place is falling apart. And there's a very limited amount of tables and they are all taken up. So, that's yeah, okay. I got me headphones, which was the plan anyway. The mall is right across the parking lot. So I guess that's where we're going. Oh, but then I'm gonna be so tempted to eat bad food. Yeah, I'm in Calgary, it's my cheat days. Okay, well, let's pull over to the doors that are closest to the food court. <sighs> Hopefully we'll have a little bit better luck there. Actually, this will work out okay because, well, unless I want to wait till tomorrow morning, but PetSmart's right here. I should probably get Penny some more food. I just like to have a bunch on hand. There's no way she's done with the food I got her last time, but it's easier to get it while I'm here. I got to go right. It is Thursday morning. Why are all you people at the mall? Yeesh. Maybe they're all editing videos for their YouTube channel too. You never know. Yes, there's many more tables here. Thank goodness. <sighs> okay it is now i don't even know what time it is i'm farting around at the back of grace here i just finished editing and getting the video exported it's it's now 11 minutes after one that's how long i was in the mall for basically i made a quick trip to the dollar store to load myself up with some of these little candy coated marshmallows which i discovered the other day uh, last time i was at a dollar store and they are delicious so obviously i had to get a couple of bags of those to come back to bc with me um i need to upload now and i don't have 
I don't have internet. I do have internet. I'm gonna have to tether my computer to my phone and use my data. Uh, hopefully that is fast enough to get this video uploaded. It's a 10 gigabyte video. My computer needs to stay plugged in when she's uploading because her settings, when she's not plugged in, turns the screen off. And when the screen turns off, the uploads will stop. And yes, I could change it that in my settings on my computer, but I don't want to. I like my screen protection settings. So uh, I was gonna plug in to the Vitamin here, my laptop, but the Vitamin also needs to be charged, blah, blah, blah. There's no room back here. I've got more mail at the UPS store that I need to go pick up, but these drawer slides that we got at the beginning of the week, they're, they're massive and they're in boxes. And I, you know what? I'd rather not schlep these boxes to BC with me. So two to recycling bins. Get Amazon. One skinny box, one large box. Explain that to me. Get out of my Jeep. Actually, these ones aren't so bad. These sleek ones, let's keep those. Just so we don't scuff up the very expensive drawer slides. Let's get rid of this stupid box that's being used as a condom. Wow. Okay, and sometimes this happens. I had all of my tea and drinks from the fridge and the Airbnb loaded into the Airbeds bag, and one of the stupid cans opened up inside. It got all over the teas and everything, so I just finished wiping them off. They now live over here in the passenger seat for the time being, but this box was full of all of the very nice stuff that I'd received from subscribers before, plus my dirty laundry. So now everything is a mess and my life is ruined. It's clearly not actually that bad, but it's a pain in the butt, but I've got time still before Brooklyn's done school. It, all, it also leaked all over her hat, which really pisses me off more than anything. It's nobody to blame except myself. It's just, there's too much stuff going on. So now we're gonna get this organized. We're gonna get this video uploading and then we're gonna go to the laundromat. So that there's no dirty clothes ever. We will use the sticky, gross, nasty Airbeds bag as our laundry bag and it will get washed as well. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart. I need to stop placing orders for teas and, and then we will try to get everything back on track. So I need a minute to get this space organized and then we'll be right back. Let's do this because it's fun. All right, we got all this set up. We've got a very, very weak uh, internet connection, but we are linked to my phone, as you can see right there, and the video is uploading. And so we're gonna close this. <laughs> Hopefully that connection gets a little bit better as we drive around. Gotta make sure the phone I'm filming on stays close. And under here, underneath all of this, we've got our laundry bag with Brooklyn's poor little fox hat ready to go. Now that I'm thinking about it, the laundromat also has Wi-Fi, so if it turns out that that's just a faster connection, then we'll just do it while we're there, because Lord knows we're gonna have the time. So, tally freaking ho, away we go. Okay, well, I'm just gonna run in and put the load of laundry in because I don't want to carry everything in right now, but I don't think my hotspot's working very well. It hasn't even started to go to 1% upload yet. It's one of those days, you know? Okay, so I got the laundry in. It's going right now. A lot cheaper than the cost, four bucks for a little load. And I checked my computer. It's gonna take two hours and 55 minutes to upload with the freaking hotspot on my phone. So put water bottle down. So that sucks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna schlep everything into the laundromat. I've got a machine right next to the couches. Um, I've got my switch to keep myself entertained. Or maybe even I'll start editing the next video. I can, I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, if I play my switch, I'm not going to bother plugging in the computer. I'll just keep finger flicking the trackpad so it doesn't go to sleep. And hopefully their Wi-Fi allows me to upload the video a little bit faster. It's all about timely fashion. I hope I can find some. That water bottle. This one's not working. It's, oh, there it finally hurt. It must have heard me. <laughs> and it's an absolutely gorgeous day out today. So hopefully we can get this done quick enough and go give Grace the bath she deserves. It's more like a shower though, isn't it? Finger flick distance. Ooh.
Okay, well, didn't even hit 50%, but it, uh, it's uh, gonna be after three by the time I get over to the hotel, which means I can check in and we can get the freaking computer attached to their Wi-Fi and then not worry about it. More importantly though, we got it out of her hat. So laundry's done, the airbed's bag is shedding blue thread, but <sighs> all right, the unexpected tour of the day is done. Let's get to the hotel, get the video uploading, then clean the bloody jeep. Okay, let's try this again. Connect to the Wi-Fi and uploading. Okay, fingers crossed. That was Thursday, because now I'm just gonna go get my little girl. I'm gonna go wash Grace, because she's nasty AF. Then I'm gonna get my little girl. We'll see you tomorrow morning on the road. Just kidding, one more for today. Let's just say I'm glad I'm not having to sleep in Grace tonight. My goodness. Oh. I know two of these are things that I've ordered, and some of it is from Bill for the build on Lucky. The rest of it, I don't know. It's also warm out, and I had to change. But, oh, look, at least Grace isn't, well, as filthy as she was. We made it to Friday and I made it back to British Columbia. Just a nice quick rip back through the Rogers Pass and we are here. And so are mom and dad. And I like to give my mama a very big shout out for this hat. I have a feeling it's going to be my new favorite one. And it's pretty obvious why. All right, we're not gonna spend too much more time here except we are going to open up this additional mountain of boxes and see exactly what it is we got. Like I mentioned, two of these are things I ordered. I don't know which ones they are. I think this is probably one of them. Oh God, don't. Leaning Tower of Amazon. So let's rip those open and then hopefully we can get started on Building Lucky tomorrow. See what we got. So I ordered some lugs that I need for the wiring that I was doing right before I left. This is probably that. Or, oop, yeah, I believe so. These are the 5 16 for 2 aught wire. Yes, perfect. So, Amazon's working that way. Wow, this place is a mess. Some people's kids. This one is rather heavy. I'm not quite sure what this is. Slice and dice. Well, that didn't work at all. It's almost like I used a key to try to do that. What was I thinking? Oh, much better. Holy frickin' Dinah. Oh, this is the stuff. This would this will be from Bill in Old Denver. Uh, thank you, sir. We've got one aught wire. Negative. We've got a whole. Wow, that is that's heat shrink. That is some thick ass heat shrink. We got some electronic wiring to do. We got another spool of one aught black wire, and oh, battery terminal posts. Well, thank you very much. We'll have to pay those forward, Bill. My batteries don't uh, don't accept those terminal clamps, but I thank you so much for the other stuff and even whoa, even more heat shrink. Well, now we've got zero excuses to not heat shrink our wires. The one out wires that will be good to run from the batteries to the bus bars for sure. You know, what? I'm gonna keep all this stuff in this box. That way, I know exactly where it is. Put this stuff. Well, here for now. We've got a couple giant boxes here. Now we're gonna have fire starter for days. I suppose I can just do a recycling run. See the kind of mood I'm in. 
All right, so it's excellent, excellent. Keeping up as we usually do, Amazon. Box in a box. This is Tough Tools Half Price. Oh, these are, <laughs> look at the brand. How familiar are we with this brand? They make some pretty chintzy diesel heaters, amongst other things. This should be the other item that I ordered, and that would be my clippy clampies. So this will help me with the sawing that I have to do. Oh, it's like having a third and fourth set of hands. And I went with Vivor specifically because I thought that was hilarious. Let's see how well their clamps work compared to their diesel heaters. I'm not speaking from experience. My diesel heater is not a Vivor brand. Oh, good. It comes with instructions in case you don't know how to use a clamp. Why was that box so heavy? What else is in there? My knife. <clears throat> Oops. Oh, it's an indoor playpen for Penny. But it says indoor. I bet you I could use it outdoor. Is there a front tag? There it is. Reach inside. This is from Rebecca Griffin. Well, thank you, Rebecca. God, this knife needs to get out of my face. I want to see if Rebecca left a note. There it is. Don't stab yourself in the eyeball. I just wanted to give you a little something. I believe I saw in the video that your old one was ripped, so I wanted to send you a new one, so when you go out camping, you have something. From Rebecca. Thank you. I appreciate that, Rebecca. This looks mighty small compared to the last one. Size is not everything. Penny's old catio, sadly. I mean, it lasted me a very long time, but yeah, it's it's done ski. And we got this tiny little one for her. That's actually not, hey, that might work just fine for her. For the amount of time she spends in it, that's kind of perfect. I love it. Maybe it'll fit in one of our new sliding drawers. Thank you, Rebecca. I appreciate that. You know, am I gonna be able to fold this thing back up? Is the question. Um, well, it's not perfect. It's gonna... It's a future Matthew problem. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. What is this? Oh, this is the other thing from Bill. Look at this. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Oh, and it comes with even more lugs for my wiring. So I'm not gonna open them up right now, but you can see from the pictures, they are crimpers and wire cutters that hopefully will cut through one and two aught wires. Well, if it can cut through one aught, it can cut through two aught. Um, cause that's my biggest problem. When the wire is that thick, I'm going to like hack at it with my knife. I said I wasn't going to open it. I'm a big fat liar. Ooh, comes in its own little case. I'm going to be an electrician to go. Ooh, yeah. Okay. What well, comes with a pair of gloves? That's hilarious. Comes with disposable gloves. Yo, what? Why? Anyway. Yeah. Cut the wire. Joss, let me see this. Come out. Look at that. Look at those wire cutters. That's some... There's some business. Where's do I have a piece of wire somewhere? As an example, this is one of the ones that I have to cut. I don't know which end I have to cut off though. Uh oh. Don't cut that one. I need this one. We'll get rid of. Let's see. This is I don't even know. I think this is too hot. How well do you go, bro? Thank you, Bill. Those work great. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. All right, don't put your fingers in there. Shawl is the brand. Never heard of it. Obviously, Bill has. And again, sir, I say thank you. Don't lose your lug nuts. Not lug nuts, Matthew, damn it. And last but not least, what are these? Oh, Oof. Oh wow, that came already? Thank you so much. Oh, from one Aussie's adventure, otherwise known as Ian. Would have been great to see Lucky in person, but it wasn't meant to be. Next time, Gadget, next time. Let me know how this actually goes power-wise from Ian. Ian sent me from my wish list. It's kind of like, well, it's spoilers, but check that out. Duck's top, induction, cooktop. I thought that would be a much better approach to cooking in Lucky 2.0, and I guess, I guess we shall see. There was an induction cooktop at the Airbnb I just stayed at. Um, it wasn't a duck's top, but it was the same idea. And uh, I think it got all the way up to, there's 10 levels of heat. I got up to the level six on my tiny Vitamin, like the little Jump 1000. And I think it was pulling just around 800 watts on level six. And I noticed right away, you don't very rarely need to go above level six. So anyway, 
I saw Foresty Forest use one of these on his channel. He uses an induction cooktop, I believe, in his van. And uh, yeah, it might just make things a little bit easier. Then I can keep my actual like jet boil stoves for camping and when I'm outside, when I'm squatting down in a Walmart parking lot, let's cook some things through induction. So thank you very much, Ian. That was awesome, my man. And uh, all right then. Well, that is that, that is a wrap. We've got plenty of stuff to start our fire up tomorrow and get cracking back at Lucky. I'm so excited to get that drawer uh, completed. I have my lights disconnected again in here, so you can't really see, but that drawer right there, yeah, we're coming for you. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave this one here, you guys. Thank you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that as well. I will also leave this video off by saying, this all this back and forth, I got zero regrets when it comes to this Jeep. Man, if I, I just have the incredible luxury of being able to do this, to see my daughter on the regular and build Lucky 2.0. And I think that's pretty darn cool. So, <sighs> sorry, I'm just taking a moment there. Anyway, until the next one, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive. And remember, only dead fish go with the flow. More mountains, less assholes.